I just got done filming this video and what I did was not very smart. I messed with a skunk. All I had to do was open the door on the trap, let him run out, but I thought it'd be a better video if I was in the camera shot. Well, this skunk was very agitated. It was stomping his feet on the ground and when he came out, he was ready to spray. He turned at me, flicked his rear end, and I saw the spray all over my pants. I reek. Let's go see what my family says. Whew. Be you. You're stinky. What do I smell like? You're a skunk. I smell like a stinky skunk? Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to try to catch some skunks and opossums in the woodshed with this live catch trap. Now live catching skunks can be tricky business. If you get them in the standard cage trap, they can see you coming and they might spray you. But hopefully this trap lives up to its name. It's called the No Spray Skunk Trap. And it's made by the DWL Manufacturing Company. All the traps they make are designed by a professional exterminator with a lifetime of experience trapping nuisance animals. In future videos, I'm going to test out their squirrel trap, their coffin mouse traps, and I've already posted a video testing out their little valve mouse trap. This was a fun trap that worked well. But what I'm most excited about is their no spray skunk trap. It has solid walls so the skunk can't see you. It has a door in back with a screen so you can let the skunk out. And a special door with a double locking system. On top of the trap is a rod connected to a pedal inside. This goes back and forth. The rod's what holds up the door. We turn the trap this way. You can see two latches. We'll lift these up and then pull up the door. Push forward the rod and it's set. In the back is a screen. We'll take this out. You put the bait back here. The skunk will enter through the front. Step on the pad and locks into place with both of those locks. There's no way a skunk's getting out. Then with the screen in place, you can check the trap. You can move it with the handles. The skunk can't see you with the solid walls. Then you can relocate the skunk in the wild, lift up the screen, let it walk out, come back, take your trap. No problem, no spray. This trap looks like it's gonna work well. Let's go set it up in the woodshed with motion cameras and see if we can get opossums and skunks with a no spray trap. Last night, the first animal to come to the trap was a male opossum. So we're gonna let him go. This is so easy to carry and to release. Just pull back the latch, lift up the screen, and let him walk out. Opossums have a little bit of a strong smell, so I'm gonna hose this down, set it up again in the woodshed, and see if we can get the female opossum or the skunk tonight. Let's go set up the motion cameras. Night number two and we caught a second opossum. I'm trying to catch the skunk, but the opossums get there first. We're gonna relocate it. I'm gonna lift up the door and let him out. That wasn't the big female with the babies. It's another male. Now on the trail cameras after we caught this one, the skunk came and another opossum. We'll see which one we get tonight. 
just hose this down, clean it up, set it up again with motion cameras and see who we get. I am still trying to catch a skunk in the no spray skunk trap. On night number three, we didn't catch another opossum, but we did catch a rat. If you turn it up here and lift up the screen, you can see him down there. Now this is a native species. It's a pack rat, also known as a dusky footed wood rat. So I'm gonna put on my gloves. We're gonna take him out and look at him, then let him go. I'm gonna reach down there, see if we can grab him. Here he is, you can see the white feet. That's why they call it a dusky footed wood rat. He's trying to bite, look at him chomp on the leather. Now these rats are native, they have a bushy tail. They also have a brown top and a white belly. Look at those teeth biting my finger. There's his white belly. Ooh, and he's peeing all over me. Now I would not want those teeth in my skin. Those bites get infected quickly. They have big ears, they're kind of cute. They're almost like a squirrel. But because it's a native species, we're gonna let him go. He's not doing any harm out here. Be free. Go ahead and jump. He's gonna run up my arm. I didn't want him to bite me. The skunk saga continues. Three nights in a row we set up this trap and caught animals. The first two nights opossums and the third night a pack rat. Maybe tonight the skunk will get here first, go in the door and get caught. I'll lift up the double dog latch and the door. Who knows, maybe the fourth time's a charm. Well, it's been quite the process, but we finally caught a skunk. It went in there, stepped on the pedal, the door closed, and we got it. Now, I knew we got a skunk right away because it smells bad. Skunks have different personalities. Some are easygoing and some let loose on a whim. And this one stinks. Just as I'm talking, I'm getting new waves. He's letting a little bit of spray out at a time. Whew. I'm going to have to take a shower after this one. But I'm glad the trap has solid walls so he can't see me. But he can hear me. I'm going to lift up the trap and turn it on its end so you can see him. Then we're going to take him outside and let him go. It's dark in there so it's hard to see but you can see a white stripe on his face. He's not happy. He's stomping his front foot on the pedal making a drumming sound. He's clearly agitated, spraying a little bit and stomping. Thump, thump. Let's go take him outside and let him go. Okay, we'll lift up the screen and let him out. He's not coming out, so I'm gonna try to lift up the front door.
He likes it in there. Well, that was fun. I got sprayed. I stink. I didn't have to be there. All I had to do was lift up the screen and leave. But for the video, I wanted to see the skunk come out. And that was a bad mistake. I'm going to have to go shower. I don't know if my wife's going to let me in the house. Whoo That skunk had a bad attitude. It had no problem letting out spray. But the no spray skunk trap works well. You can catch small animals such as cats, opossums, rats, and skunks. So overall, this is one of my favorite small animal traps. It's easy to move. And if you don't want to let him go, you can easily throw this in some water and take care of the problem that way. Oh man, this is going to be fun coming home. Everyone's going to plug their nose. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, opossums, and skunks, stay tuned. Ugh.